So if you're like me and you wanted an amazing case for your iPad, you probably went online and saw this video and other people's rave reviews, including Kevin Rose's, about the Dodo case. Uh, just as an example, here's a video showing the great fit of the iPad in the Dodo case. Let's see what he has to say. Your iPad nice and secure in there, but it also makes it easy to get out. So if we were to flip it upside down, it wouldn't fall out. But if you shake it upside down, it falls out. Um, so we don't recommend you shaking it upside down. That's actually... Sounds pretty sensible, right? So I dished out 59 bucks to buy... Ta-da! A beautiful Dodo case for my iPad. As you can see, it's gorgeous, looks like a moleskin, and when it's all strapped in there together, it actually looks like a pretty decent fit. But you may notice you got a pretty serious curve there on the bottom. And while this end is pretty in pretty tight, this side over here is like rocking all over the place. Well, I want to show you a little demo of uh, trying to hold it upside down, or really in any other angle except for directly upright. But first, it is pretty, so you can't fault it on that. It's a pretty amazingly beautiful uh, piece of art, really. But let's take a look at that hold. And again, I'm not going to shake it at all. I'm just going to show you the angle. It just falls right out. No shaking, no nothing. Um, not too happy. So, if anybody else uh, has had this problem, I know I have one friend who has a Dodo case, and hers is actually worse than mine. Hers is like a complete freaking arch bridge. So, anyway, hopefully, uh, I don't know if getting another one would even help, but hopefully Dodo case is doing something to fix this problem. Thanks, guys.